Well, here I am getting Sweepy ready for her next adventure this summer. I, uh, of course, remember if you remember last, I put the motor here in the middle now so that it acts as a rudder and it steers. I just tested it, it works wonderful. So it's super strong, you don't have to worry about a rudder breaking. That tarp is temporary, I do have a top coming up. And um, the interior, let me spin it around. Not much has changed in here. I'll give you a little wider view. My grab rail up there, mattress is in bed. Everything's watertight, even though it's raining outside. It's absolutely watertight in here. Unless I make these on things so I can pull them up and down. Got my little fridge going over here. I got the air conditioner over here. I put it right here on the door. It sits on this board. I picked this board up and I put it there. And it just sits there and then I just swing these doors open, drop a tarp or a blanket usually, and I get cold air. I've also equipped Sweet Pea with good electronics. It has a good radio. It's got an internal mic and also has an internal mic. This here swings out. Swing it all the way, but it swings all the way out here so I can see it from the outside while I'm driving. Uh, that's how that works. I did change something on the front of the sweeper here. Right here, you see these aluminum bars? That's so that the mast pivots up there. So now I can lower the mast and still have this rack here. This, this is where the new canvas is going to be going. But now I can lower the mast. It just comes off with quick disconnects. And I don't have to remove all of this hardware that I used to have to do before. I just pull that bolt out of the bottom, disconnect the front thing and just lower it down. It sits right back there on that piece right there. And it's easy to lower it if I had to, uh, to get around. And as usual, I have my standard Mantis anchors and windlass and everything on the front here is pretty much the same. I did put big hooks for my bumpers. You notice my bumpers are hooked into these things makes life easy when you got to throw a fender out and um, that's pretty much what's going on here another item I added is an automatic bilge pump it's down underneath here let's see if we can see it let's be on this box now the reason I added that is because sometimes if you forget to put these two scupper plugs in and it rains, the water will fill up and come over the top and go into there. There's no through holes in this. Well, there's the two through holes for those scuppers, but there's no through holes and there's no bilge in this boat per se. So I just, in the past, what has happened is water has come in here. Let me turn around. I would do a big drive because I just got up. But um, in the past, the um, water has filled up in there because other people, don't mention any name here, very loved ones, have left the plugs in. Then the water level rises up, it comes over the top and comes into the floor. It won't sink the boat. I mean, eventually it would sink the boat. Um, yeah, I imagine it could, but it'd take a long time. But it just, uh, if the water ever does come over, this section here, right here I'm looking at, this here, see these are compartmentalized sections. This here and back there, there's walls. Just like there's walls here and walls here. So if you were to get a hole here, it would only fill up to below that thing right there. That little round thingy. The bottom there, the water line's below that. The water line's about here. So if you were to punch a hole here, you will put about, I don't know, it's about eight inches of water there and stop because it can't go anywhere. It doesn't flow through. All the sections are isolated. Same applies back here. It would fill up just to this section here and it would stop. So that bilge pump is going to prevent it from eventually flowing over the top of this. Uh, you know, it doesn't get all the way down, but within an inch, you have to mop it up a little bit. But that's how that works. Uh, and that's one of the things I added recently to Sweet Pea. Beautiful rainy day out here in Norfolk, Virginia. So there's Sweet Pea in our Virginia spot. She'll be taking off this August for another trip.